<coughs> okay, I think everything's okay. Anyway, hey you everyone, I am Chocobis and welcome to the stream. Today we are going to continue playing Fall of Porcupine. Just like we have streamed yesterday. <coughs> oh yeah, as I have tweaked. I have changed a bit of my audio setup, so maybe, maybe, my voice is a little bit too low, but I don't know, <clears throat> I think it's okay, yeah, I think it's okay, <clears throat> for now, if you think the audio is not, uh, is not, what was it again? If my voice is too loud or the game voice is too loud, just tell me in the chat. Okay, yes, that with that further ado, let's just continue the game. <clears throat> Last time we have already done the first day of our of our day shift after getting into a uh, somehow break because of the. <coughs> Because of the accident, and we are going to continue again for another shift in the hospital and see what will happen. Oh yeah, last time I said the main character was an owl, but I think it isn't. He looks more like a pigeon, I think. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> it's definitely he's not definitely not an owl. I just think he's a bird. He's definitely a, he's definitely a bird, <coughs> but not an owl. Okay, that was a that what that's what I would say right now. I already done this last stream. We'll just straight up go to work. I think. I think there are nothing I can do here. Let's just change and get out. Yay. <coughs> oh, Walrus. Hello. Hey, morning there. Spare a few sin for my friend. Sure thing. Here you go. <coughs> Thank you. You getting down, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just worked a different schedule. But put this put it this way. If you are the, if you are the kind of guy who likes a shared investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon again. You have a productive day now. Who was it again? Alfio. This morning, Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place in it. Oh. Oh. I see. I can smell a plot uh, involving him. Sooner or later. <laughs> but let's see if I can see the guy who is fishing here. I took he's there. That will just say anyway. Oh, there you go. Hey, he's here. <coughs> what are you doing here? Hello? Can you hear me? What does it look like? I'm working. <coughs> working? That's right. Say, friend. You got a name? I'm Froke. Good to meet you. Finally, Finlay. Wait, likewise. Gimana aku kemarin? Finlay. It's Finlay, not finally. Finlay. Or finally? I don't know. I just, I just put pronounce it as Finlay. No. What are you working on? Myself. You. 
porcupine. You're working on me? Since when? A few seconds ago. I like to sit here and look at the water. This is my favorite spot. I see. And I think about all things happening in the world. <clears throat> see. And that includes you, friends. <clears throat> You're new here, right? Yes, well, I moved here a few weeks ago. That's still new. So, how do you like porcupine? It's nice, I think. A little quiet. She's like that sometimes. Who is? Lady Time. Sometimes you think she's quiet. <clears throat> like the water here. At first glance, it looks like the river cha never changed. But it's actually moving all the time. No one second is like that next. Even when you think there's nothing happened. Stay here for long enough and all kind of go pop into your head. You have a good day now. I'm always here, you know. Well, almost always. Stop by again sometimes, young Finlay. You too, bro. And I will. I know. Let's see, find the uh, one. Frog. Frick. Wait. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know why. I think Finlay has the tendency of writing a typo. The name here is Frog But in this one, <laughs> it's root as Frog. I don't know if this is inten whether it's intentional or not, but <laughs> I find it funny. In your set of town, the angler was sitting by the river. Her name? Her name! Oh, for is it? She, okay. I just say she's a masculine female boar who's sitting by the river. Her name is Frog, and I had a nice chat with her. <coughs> He seems to be there quite often. If I find the time, maybe I should stop by her place. Maybe I shouldn't judge them by the look. I'm sorry for that. Because anthropom anthropomorphical creatures are not easily distinguished just by the look. Especially the, the thing, you know, how to call them. <clears throat> Anybody I can talk to again? Oh, the, the the dog guy is not there. The dog girl, girl. I think if I remember correctly, the the dog delivery is a girl. Uh, Dina? Not Dina. Susie. Yes. Yes. It's a girl. Horse guy. Yo. You live across the street from here, right? Yes, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cup? No, sorry. I never even eat yogurt. Be glad. I'm on the warpath. Everyone I make, I came across this one garbage can. Stuffed to the brim with yogurt cups. And, it's, and as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cup in the trunk. And all the half all full cup came tumbling down on my head. Now I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry peach and find a smell otherwise. Is the bus running away? Yeah! I took it to work earlier. I'm not the world's greatest cyclist. So I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. But you are a horse! You can run fast enough. <laughs> Never mind, I'm just joking. <clears throat> you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Arsula Hospital. Oh, you're one of those folks. Your garbage cans are in a class of their own. I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. This year, save this. 
Do you know Dr. Kotera? Hmm, Kotera. <clears throat> I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right, anyway, Dr. Kotera is good. Go Dr. Kotera is a good guy. Show me some exercise. It's been better since then. <clears throat> cool. If you see him, tell him Mateo says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? Uh, I walk. Should I walk? I want to walk actually. I get it. The weather's still nice. And the exercise will do you good. <coughs> Wait. No nuts? Oh, there is nuts. Uh, Mateo. Mateo was standing at the bus stop this morning and smelled like yogurt at first. I thought he was just really into dairy when in fact he works at the garbage disposal and had a small incident this morning. I cannot feel for him. Yeah, that was sad when you are cleaning garbage and then some of the wet garbage actually get onto you. It's quite disgusting. Yeah. What? Excuse me? Hmm? Yes? Do you know what's going on here? Why the line is so long? How do you hurt? They're saying today is going to be the last warm day of the year. That means the ice cream shop closing today. It won't open again until spring. They always have great deals on the last day of the year. We don't want to miss it. Who knows how long we'll have to wait before we can get the delicious ice cream again. Oh, yes. Uh... The creative roadblocks. <coughs> it's the last day. Is the what is it again? I forgot how to say it again. Oh my god. Um, last birthday day sell or anything like that. Sell, yes, yeah, sell. Hey, are you okay? Are you looking for something? Hello. Trains are great, right? Do you like trains too? I love them. They're long and loud and fast. I wish I was train. Uh, yeah, trains are cool. So, you like trains too? Sure. <coughs> wow. But you know what trains can do? Swim. That's why there's no trains here. Because this is water. <coughs> and trains can swim. Sure. That figures. I think trains should be able to swim. Then I could go anywhere by train. Like an island that's really sunny and stuff. Even though I don't like sun that much. Not as much as train. Who are you? Kim. I don't really like trains all that much. But I didn't want to spoil Kim's enjoyment. Oh. Kim is a train enthusiast. I like that uh, figure and passion about something they like. <clears throat> put it here and I'll put this one here. Sorry, let me arrange my table. And I put you. <clears throat> Go! You again? Okay? Hello! There's our young sapling! Young sapling? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. Isn't it lovely morning? Yes, it's very really beautiful. You look much more relaxed today, too. <coughs> we haven't had a such a beautiful fall in a long time, you won't, you won't know? But there was once a glittering golden fall here in Porcupine. Do you want to hear about it? Sure. Then let me begin. This all happened before I was born. 
But my father liked to tell them story. The story. One year, there was a fall like no others. That was the year Porcupine First Train Station opened. The town had never seen so many visitors, and there hadn't ever been a better year to visit Porcupine. The weather was as perfect as can be. Not too warm, not too cold. The scent of summer blossom and fall leaves filled the air all day long. Back then, Porcupine was mainly skilled in farming town, and this year saw the best harvest in history. Every day, the potatoes fall pulled out of the ground, got bigger and bigger. Blood red apples, pumpkin the size of small car, oh my god, that's so huge. The best one you can imagine. Every day was a feast. No one had any worries. Everyone had their arms about each other's shoulders. The whole thing lasted for three months. Then from one day to the next, winters set in. Since then, we have had fond memories of that glittering golden falls. That sounds nice. I, w I would have liked it. Me too, me too. Hey Susie. Are we start today? Are we start today? Yep, I want to enjoy the walk to work a little more. You can see how much going about the world on foot. New people but familiar faces too. You can even get yourself a nice breakfast and nibble away a park bench. Have you had breakfast today? Yes, of course. I have to be on my, on for, for my rounds. People are getting a lot of mail right now. Take the culvert for example. Lots of pills. Oh, it's that time of the year. I see. I wonder what's going on there. And Adele von Wittersburg haven't received any postcard for a long time. I hope her pen falls okay. Hold on. You read people's mail? No, not on purpose. Honestly, I don't. It's just one of the hazards of being a bus woman. I mean, I can't deliver the mail bank for it, can I? Well, uh, you got a point there, but... Okay. <laughs> Where's close? Giuliano. Oh, you are here now. Hello there. Are you here about the fountain? Oh, there, kid. What are you thinking creeping up on me like that? I'm trying to con contemplate here. Sorry, what are you contemplating? Take a look for yourself. The old town fountain is given up the ghost. Just uh, in the whole fountain game. No splish, no splash, no nothing. You're right there. Any idea what's wrong with it? Not a one, but we'll work it out. We only got the repair contract from the council today. <coughs> the, town storm, the town normally turns off the well in winter anyway. But they want, they want to fire it up again for the hibernation festival. We usually keep it running until then, and then give it its winter break. But this year we have to fix it first. I'll keep my finger crossed for you then. You'd be better off using them to hold on and hope this old deer gets up and running again. I hope the fountain gets repaired soon. It's like a fountain is only fountain when it's water running. Otherwise, it's just a statue. Yeah, right. I wonder what clocks the fountain. Actually. <clears throat> oh, there. Hi. What are you doing here? Why are you standing there? So basically, the bus is used for the quick travel thing to the hospital, but I just want to check everything. There you go again. Lots of mysteries. I bet someone put an evil curse on you. The person who owned you before was played by misfortune. Hey, misfortune. misfortune. <laughs> the only escape was to leave you here. They fled to the town. Never to return. That's probably it. Right? Oh, Finlay and his head cannon. 
Now I'm gonna stop doing this. The shadow child was here. Hmm. What's this shadow child thing? I wonder. What's this shadow child thing? Hello. Good morning. You should take off your hood and enjoy this fine weather. Who knows how many more sunny days we'll have this year. Better take every little bit of vitamin D you can get. Alright, the vitamin D. Pro vitamin D. You get for every morning sun. That's quite healthy, so never forget sunbathing in the morning every day. I guess. S Ingrid for the compass. Okay. Anything here? Then go to the right. Oh, no. Never mind. Cannot go there today. Then let's go to the hospital. Pew pew. Change the cloth. Oh, I can see the sequence there. <coughs> Here he is again. Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But I do, but don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things doing, okay? How are things doing? How are things doing, okay? Yeah, that's how you should. Space out the world. Depends. You guys gave me back or you guys gave me all my back. I don't so glad you ask. Nobody else does. They say there were times when I didn't have a bad back. And say that's a myth. If those times existed, I don't remember them. This went 12 years ago now. You had sleep this? Three. Oh my god, three sleep this. That's not an easy life, I guess. Oh. Yeah. I thought things would be better if I cut back on the nursing job. Stick to the paper pushing. But let me tell you, kid. This rickety chair doesn't make it any better. I'm sorry, Ingrid. Don't be. Just watch your back, kid. You already look like you're snapped in half at the slightest breeze. Don't let it come to that. Once your back goes, it don't come back easily. You know, as someone who has scoliosis, I kinda get that one. <laughs> Once your back is screwed, it will never get back easily. That's a fact, and I also have a friend who has scoliosis worse than mine. And boy oh boy, that's... Horrible. Don't mess it up in the first place. Don't mess it up in the first place. Exactly. You can have that one for free. What's the situation? Pretty busy. But you're on time today. Say kid. You know your way around the hospital yet? Yeah? I'm not surprised. Everyone got lost here at the beginning. So let's start here. Right now, you're standing on the ground floor. Come visit me whenever you get a moment. I'm busy, but I never say no to Jen. 
The cafeteria is on the ground floor too. Sergei is a pretty good cook. If you ask me, you can also get to the back entrance from here. That's what we're. That's where all the medical waste get disposed of. Disposed of. Our ambulances and emergency vehicles are parked back there too. Sometimes people go out there when they need some fresh air. Most floors have access to the stairwell and or and an elevator. And the elevator will get you to where you need to go the quickest. If you're in a hurry, that's the quickest way to get anywhere. You can also use the staircase to get to all the, flo the other floors. At the bottom of the staircase is the basement. That's where the lab is. The hall is quirky kingdom. But you've already met him, so I hear. Our central document archive and storeroom are in the on that floor too. All kind of knickknacks down there. That's where Gregor dumps all his junk. Administration on the first floor. That's where you'll find Dr. Theobald and Mr. Heydrich's office. <laughs> the surgery is on the second floor. Everyone is worshipped the crown Dr. Linwood walks on. The surgeon with the golden hand was recruited specially for my role. Now he cuts for open in our little arm. Dr. Portobello and him, they love a good picker. I hope I don't have to tell you what's on the third floor. I'm pretty familiar by now. <clears throat> because I'm working there. It's very strong, good kiddo, winning up with Dr. Krakowski. Stay on her good side and you'll be a top doctor in no time. I'll do my best. The floors above you is the internal medicine too. That's more the, for the patient with private insurance. Dr. Godera and Dr. Kamala are pretty laid back. Not no bad things, considering how hard-headed some folks are. You'll find out the rest on your own, kiddo. Thanks for the info, Ingrid. You're welcome. It's never a bad thing to get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there is emergency, you need to know exactly what's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You wanna be in his, in his good side. He's a chief physician after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good stuff. I'll, see, I'll go see him. <laughs> you know where his office is? Yes, of course. His office. I know that. <laughs> of course you know. First floor, on the right. Thanks. See you later. Don't trip yourself, kiddo. Thank you, Miss Ingrid. You're a lifesaver. Let's check on our friend. Oh, I can go to the cafeteria. Let's see who will we... Oh, never mind. Push the wrong button. Actually going to the left, not the right. Let's see who will we find here. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm... Don't say a word. But... Shh. I just felt the tickle of inspiration. Yes, the sound, the image. I can test them on my tongue. This is the truth. This is it. The truth. What is? Carrot, hibiscus, fennel extract. Yes, so it shall be. Um. So what? So what shall be? My next masterpiece. The one that will carve my name in the annals of history. I can't wait. What do you want? Are you here to peel the, pota the potatoes? No, I'm just looking around. Nothing going on in the cafeteria yet? Excuse me? Do you know who I am? I'm this I'm Sergei Martina. I have cooked all over the world. States every flavor of the earth has the offer. I have even added my own unique taste to the fat and tail. There is nothing I can cook. 
Wow, that sounds amazing. Is the food ready yet? I will go for a little snack. The instruments are tuned. The stage is bright. Just a few more moments and the expected audience will enter the hall. This is a day they will never forget. The day on which Sergei cooked for them. So, can I get something to eat or not? I, uh... Come back later. Won't be much longer now. Okay. Ooh, fancy. I like this... Uh, view. I will see someone here eventually. Not too bad, we, we are not fortunate enough to get food here today, this time. I don't know why I chop off my word, my word. But my brain think like that, it's just bit by bit, not the full length sentences. <laughs> Hello garbage, how's, the, how's your day going so far? Hey Finley, I'm really dirty. Hey hey. Don't know what's going on in your head Finley. Wow, your bed is gone. Respect. But the day is still young. Sure is. <laughs> Always I have that energy to visit everyone every day in your warp area. Can I sneak a peek like yesterday? Air voices. What are you doing? I'm throwing out all the rotten pineapple ring. I can smell them in the hallway. Over my dead body. And what they do is balls of my golden treasure just like that. Take it up with the two ball. We wouldn't have a half as many sick folk around here if it weren't for you. I wonder who that was. I mean, what I, you know what I just realized the floor here is quiet uh how do you say uh shiny it reflects the thing if I remember I should be going to yeah talk to Dr. Theobald on the first floor What's that? Is this you? I think it is you. Oh, it's just another unimportant message. <laughs> Must be there, or here, or there. Which one was the again? The right one or the left one? I'll go to the left one first. This is Mr. Hydrich's office. Hmm, hi, sir. Maybe he's not turned up yet. Or he already has his new spirit in some contract. Theobald. Why not Theobald already? No. This is Chief Physician Dr. Theobald's office. We haven't had a chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in and say hello? 
Not hmm, maybe he's not in here. One moment, please. Oh. Come in. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at that. Sexy art of chicken. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Is that you, Mr. Teobald? Okay. A very good morning to you. <clears throat> what can I do for you? Good morning, Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I trained not long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. How are you doing so far? Settling in, settling in nicely? It's all exciting, but I'm getting along just fine, thanks. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only just meeting somehow now. I always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure that you'll, that you'll do great work here. So Finley, why well, brings you to good old St. Ursula's? Was it the fuse? Love, perhaps? You don't have to tell me. I just like to chat, you know. No, no, it's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and wanted to start work straight away. Learn as much as I can. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in a big city. Spent all my life there too. I've never lived in a place like Porcupine before. I thought a small hospital might allow me to take on more important tasks. That and I thought the place was nice. Oh yes, it's lovely here. And how are you finding the life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected. But I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully I'll get the change soon. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finlay. The day-to-day -day in hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling. But also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you stay with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. I do what I can to keep all our staff happy. Which world do you work on? I... Unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the world. Terribly, terribly, but my current sim position simply doesn't allow it. So, why the status took then? Oh, this old thing? I just like to keep it with me. I found it comforting. Fix me up and help me feel like I'm still part of the team in some small way. Was there anything else on your mind? Any question, perhaps? There's a lot of things I can ask. Yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. You're not the first to have runaway patient here. It happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Linwood had to go looking for someone once. And the patient only had one leg. Anyway, it all turned out all right in the end. Dust yourself off and keep it in, keep it in, okay? Okay, thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Dr. Krakowski is one of the best doctors. Don't let her get you down. I know you've got what it takes. Dr. Krakowski knows it too. 
She just doesn't show it that often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else I can do for you? For the old lady's rustic charm, too. Many years ago now. Ah, yes. Is there anything else I can do for you? Old Sergei does a good job. I complain about the dish ones. The orange overture, he called it. And a bit bitter for a starter, if you may ask me. Anyway, I haven't spent much time there since. But that doesn't diminish my respect for Sergei. And I am a great proponent of healthy feedback. Even the healthiest food can leave a bitter taste. Is there anything else I can do for you? But thanks for your time. Good, good. Off you go then. I'm sure we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We shall do this again sometimes. Have a nice day, Sir Leopold. And I can get I get the uh, for the Leopold. He the chief of medicine at Saint Ursula. I spoke to him for the first time today. I like the conversation. You have to learn a lot from him. Look at that. He got wifey here. Looks full of the shelf is full of folder and all the magic books. Wow, I wouldn't mind looking at this. But half the content are out of date by now. And gold mini gold trophy. Ahem! I received that award last summer. It just so happened that you're standing in the office of the local mini golf district champion. And the books aren't that old either. And he got his own personal coffee machine. That's cool too. Oh, can check this out. Wow, the snacks here are completely different to the ones at the receptionist. Real brand name chocolates. Only the best wine gums. Even fresh fruit. I wonder if Dr. Pilbot gets a special discount on the snack. If so, then I want to be a safe physician too. Oh boy, you know what? That won't be an easy way for you to be a chief physician. Nothing else. This is my workplace. Wait, I'm working on the third floor, right? Oh, the door for is the uh, surgery room. If I remember correctly. Okay, go here. Finlay, I know. Ah, did you hear about the accident? Yes, but I know you before that. Really? I consider it important to know who I'm working with. I see. I'm Benjamin Hellstein. And you're a surgeon? Surgical care, yes. 
and hug wherever I can. Benjamin. He's not in the list, so I don't think he's an actually important person. Oh, I can talk to him. Are you the new junior doctor here? No, I work on the third floor. Oh, guess that would be would have been too easy, huh? Never mind, Rain can handle it. Rain doesn't need a holiday or a night off. At a lot more money. You've always got a lot on your hands, really, right? Oh no, not at all. I spent half my day in a spare bed watching my shows on the imaginary television. Everything's just great here. Anyway, I gotta go. Free time feel, fun thing to do. You understand? Bye! Rain chan. Surgical nurse. I can feel their frustration whenever they talk about their work. I really hope things can calm down a little soon. The surgical ward, the busiest place in this area, maybe. Where does the per that person go? I saw them just a moment ago. Not you, the other one. There you go. Hello. Hey, hi! I'm Lisa, Dr. Lisa Portabello. But just Lisa is fine. We haven't met yet, right? No, I'm pretty new here. Internal medicine on the third, am I right? That's one, how did you know? That's one, how did you know? Let's just say we've heard of you. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be the, an asset to the team. Lisa Portobello. There's a breaker here. We can talk to the receptionist in this floor now. Excuse me? What do you want? I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Finley, junior doctor in internal medicine one. I just wanted to take the opportunity to say hello. Delighted, I'm sure. My name is Dr. Limbaugh, senior physician in the surgery. Sorry, I'm very busy right now. Speak to the Benjamin or Dr. Portobello. I'm sure they'll have some time to spare for you. But you're just standing there. I'd love to sit in on one of his surgeries. I get the feeling what he wouldn't really like me walking over his shoulder though. I should never forget that my working office is on the third floor. I can skip it for now. I go to the medical ward too. Hey, you're Finley, right? I've seen you around on internal one. You're on you're on our work? Yeah, it's my work too normally. But they've got me on float duty right now. Not enough stuff. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure we bump into each other again later on. I've gotta go for now. See you around, Finley. Sandra. It's strange how I haven't met Sandra yet. She's a nurse at my work. Oh, so she's doing the job for two words. Hey, yo! Can I talk to you? No? 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 Okay. Not you too? Oh my god. Okay then. If the game says so. And I won't try further. 
Greetings, my friend. Hello, Finley. I'm Finley, and I. You're new here, and you're work downstairs on the third floor. Am I right? Yes, that's right. Your body language says a lot about you, young grasshopper. Grasshopper? I'm Maurice, but most folks call me Doctor Maurice Cotera. It's a pleasure to have you visiting us on here on our humble world. I have a great respect for Dr. Krakowski and everyone on the internal one. I want you to know you're doing a great job. Thanks. I think the team worked pretty well together. I'm a guy called Matteo. I met a girl called Matteo. He said you taught him a few exercises once. He says hi. That's wonderful. Thank you, Finlay. You've made a day, my day even brighter. Every little and feeling inter interweaving. Cohesion, togetherness, look us strong. And a senior physician for internal medicine too. Allow me to welcome you here. Make yourself at home and don't be shy about making friends with my stuff. I will. I've got to go now, though. I got to go down to Not much time to spare. Sorry. You do that, young grasshopper. And breathe. Always breathe. Oh my god, that's long. Dang, I can't even scroll it. Why can I scroll it? Mm, how do I scroll this thing? Should I do the thing? Dr. Gaudera is sexy It is more of spiritual type. Personally, I'm not really into that, but I find his approach very intriguing. There are probably many methods that have proven to be effective, especially for medical. Medical what? Let's scroll down for in the medical field, maybe even more effective than the kind of medicine I was taught. Oh, so I see he's the type of that. Was it again? Uh, uh, conventional, not conventional, the, the natural thing, natural medical thing, you know. You know what I mean? Like, if there is a herbal medicine here, he's the type, he's the one who would recommend one in the first place. Wait, why am I here? I need to go to the third floor. Can you go? Oh, hello. Morning, Finlay. Hope you have a good shift today. Thanks, you too. My stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning and forgot to have breakfast. You're funny. Well then, I really hope you have a quiet one today. See you later, Mia. Please wait for me, Dr. Krakowski. I want to check out every possible place I can go to. Okay. Let's meet Dr. Krakowski. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's still be dead right now. Like the way. So 
some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for the day have been activated in your app. Thank you. What's today's test? 331, 301, and 303. Oh, we are not uh, attending the, the, the mom. We've got our hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among other things, we're looking for looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in the room E31. This makes sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of the other. But, but don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see invisible result. Get to it. So I think I will prescribe this gir girl first. And then the asthma pick. Miss Martin, how are you feeling? I was up all night, worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter or our engagement. Blah. I was thinking about my daughter or argument. I am the same when I can't sleep. I spend the whole night turning problem over in my mind. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? Now you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustment to your dosage. Okay. Oh my god. Look at all this dosage. Mm -hmm. Here. enough I think for pills and like this nice so you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep we get the stomach also under control but to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. Yes, it is. <laughs> I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I need to hear. I've known for it for a long time. <laughs> but now I really do need to look after myself. Or, but how? This pill you're about to take will send you to the sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with the new ideas and fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, doctor. Okay, one's done. And then we go to the asthma pick. Oh, you're awake. Hello. How's up? How are you today? Pretty chill though. Just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The night can be long when you're in the hospital. And that the truth. How's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure. You need me to do anything? Just what you're doing right now. That's plenty. Alright, let's look at your lung. Yeah, you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lung, right? Or are you gonna cut me off? <laughs> no, I don't want people looking at my lungs. Alright. Oh, 
Sorry, just turn off Christ. I only be listening to your lungs. Don't worry. Ew. Yep, I can't remember how it works. What is it, Doc? Your lung haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? Nah, nothing to worry about. I think you stay, if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you home tomorrow. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that. But believe me, it's better if you keep if we keep you in, just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night. And it hurt a lot too. It's good that you told me, Dr. La Larissa. <coughs> you know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. You've got tea and coffee too. Ah, oh, coffee. That stuff so bitter. But I'll take, but I'll take a look later. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day, we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then last is Dr. Krakowski, old friend. I think it's a... Uh, tortoise? Or turtle? P31. Let's go. Quiliano, what are you doing here? Finley, my friend. I brought my mother here this morning. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing happened to her. So I figured we'd better get a specialist to check her out. All right, I'll take a look. But I, I think the junior doctor is not anything near the specialist. Or if what he mean is be specialist in healing people in general. You hear that, mom? Finley wasn't hasn't lived here in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what's happening this morning? Oh yeah, let's see. Me and Ma wanted to make up for meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said, she said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her leg gave away. She couldn't stop coughing. So we came straight here. Shame! I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. And a nice strong black coffee. Thanks, Quilano. I think that will do for now. I'll take a look for at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm going to head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. 
You should be worrying about that old bubble flowers. I'll call you later. I like that. Good morning, Miss Calma. Mrs. De Calma. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not the I'm not one to stand on a ceremony. Alright, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. So how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son's Quiliana. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall, can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such waves of beautiful air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. I just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave away and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made me an awful racket. The window shook in the window shook in all the houses. I see. That reminds me of great story. But maybe that can wait for another day. I'm rather really exhausted. Alright, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get hold of my French dust. Just sit tight, we'll have you we'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> Erno says, find the correct combination of symbols. A blue mark indicates that you've got the right symbol but in the wrong position. A green mark indicates that you've got the right symbol on the correct position. In addition to this, symbol will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. A symbol with only one appear once per combination. You have eight attempts to find the correct combination. Oh boy, this kind of puzzle. Wait. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, leg, hand, stomach, eye, skull, heart. The leg is true. Hmm. Good to right now. Okay, so I think since that one is blue, the skull is right one. And I need this. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. I got it right. Hmm, I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relative, relatively clear. I think it's early stage of pneumonia. Pneumonia. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes. Better safe than sorry, right? That's fine. 
You're a nice young man. I feel like you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get well again as soon as possible. I will see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. I will do. Thank you. And I think that is all I need to do. No new message from anyone. Wait, have I met Pina yet? Finley! You got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in a good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. We'll get Irma back in her feet. On her feet? I know, I know. I'll head out then. I go to finally open Gilbert's today. <laughs> Don't take this personally. But I hate hospital. The smell makes me anxious. And I guess we'd better catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure. Come by anytime. I will. You always have points. No. You. I think that was you. My nose itchy. I'm done, Doctor Prokowski. I can see that. All right then. Let's see what you've got for me. <laughs> Yay! I got an S. Do you need anything else? No thank you, but... The new patient. What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mrs. DeCalma is very popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time too. Take a good care of her, Finley. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Mrs. DeCalma is nice. Personal considerations should never get in your way in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person, always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Mr. Kalma as well. Okay, thank you for the place in your trust in me. Hmm. Hey Mia. Uh are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No. Oh, no that you meant now you mentioned it. Have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I'd say it is. Let's do it. I hadn't realized how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach is practically roaring with hunger. Is that even possible? Medical. They must hate you at the, at the library. Finley. Alright, alright. To the cafeteria. Oh, we're running there? Okay. Let's be healthy and use the stairway. Let's go.
Vitoria. Finally, we have the chance to eat. What's it again? Uh, Sergey's food. Hello, I mm, also like cat. Uh, hey, Lisa. Mia, hey, are you on break? Finley, you too. Yeah, my stomach is growing. That's good. It means it's still working. Can you decide what to eat? Can see anything you like to look off? Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes are sounds delicious. Really? Yes. Sergei is an amazing cook. With no skill like that, he'd fit right in at the whole surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need the moment to decide. Alright, thanks. What can I get you, kid? Um, what have you got? Art. The finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken in a wild journey. No, I don't want to pursue your personal taste, but I can highly recommend the pineapple rod. Wait, pineapple. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. Kurumen of delight. So go on. What will it be? What will you like, Mia? Hmm, I don't care. You pick something, I'll eat just anything. Not anything right now. Okay, I won't lie. Pasta come loud. <laughs> God dang it. The system is sore, but. Tomato tart, ravioli with maslonka sauce, the sea salt, muesli, and get the pineapple wrap. Ah, the pineapple wrap. I see you're a doctor of good taste. Bon appetit to you both. Enjoy. Sorry, I need to check. Sergei is the cafeteria head chef, but neither his manner nor his appearance match his job description very well. <coughs> I wonder how he ended up here. How is it? The rap? Uh, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples. But I didn't want to complain. And I was so hungry, I didn't care. But I actually meant work. How's it going for now? For you. We both started here just a few weeks ago. And I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experience yet. Sometimes that helps. It reflects on yourself, I mean. That's what my parents always say. True, somehow we haven't had a change yet. Well, I think I like the same Arsula. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the stuffs are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakowski can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating your life too. But I'll win her offer. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. <laughs> Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't have to eat the rub if you don't like it. Well, I... Bon appetit, my dear college. You too. How do you like Sergei's kissing? Pretty good so far. Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. 
and the staff here and the staff are happy i'm happy too i'm sorry i missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day it didn't seem like the right time so i was hoping i could make it up to you now my name is roman heidrich and the executive director of saint ursula hospital i try to keep things running as smoothly as i can where are you i can only see your voice and to fulfill the wishes of our chief physician dr theobald and of the staff of course my top priority is the welfare of our patients that's how it's always been and how it's always will be the two of you are new here so i wanted to impart that information to you personally especially since some of you have had a difficult start here I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Arndes. You're new and mistakes happen. And I see no ill intent in your action. You only wanted what was best for the patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, you have to make certain accommodation for him. He's now at the best care center in the country where he will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future. Continue to make St. Ursula Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Alright, time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I said that my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meal. And your work. That was interesting. I can say that again. Are you done? I definitely am not. Let's back up to the front work then. Mr. Hydra is fine. Work never sleep in his hospital. Okay, let's go. There are no profile for Dr. Hydra. Oh, this Hydra. Okay. The guy. Made friend with my roommate in the world. Makes staying here much more bearable. Well, good for you. Ah, uh, that's what I like to see. Two happy full faces. Tell me, what did you make your culinary journey? Try to put it into work. Be delicious. Uh, ah, excellent. I love sharing my world with those around me. Enjoy it, enjoy it. You can tell it on the face. Out of uh what is it again? Let me introduce you to two guys here. Don't know why, but this whole place smells of pineapple works. Ew. You enter the cafe and you can still walk? What did you have? Well, the pineapple rub, it was delicious. Ah, sh let me know if your skin turns blue. I see, the pineapple was a disaster. Let's go back to the war. 
Man, are you serious? Piece of trash. Hello. Who's that? Where is it coming from? The elevator, maybe. We shall check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is there someone in here? No, the hospital just installed one of those new talking elevators. Ah! The damn door stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? I need to help him. Yeah, what one can we do? We shall get to the janitor. He can open the door, right? Gregor, the old fort? Is the reason I'm stuck here in the first place. If he touch the elevator, it will probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck. Do you want to get out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. I've just come from surgery in the second floor. That's where I saw the old founders poking around. Alright, Finley, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan, thanks. Okay, I get it. Gregor is only our hope. Our only hope, I mean. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can't get the door open with this ghost bandage and ivy fluid. And I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you've tried it? Look, next shift can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there. I'm going to look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. Alright, I'll fetch him and be right back, okay? Hurry up. The walls are closing on in me. In on me. What's all this screaming for? Ingrid, someone stuck on the elevator. Why do, do you kids keep breaking everything here? Can you help? What do you want me to do? I'm not a magician. <laughs> but you should ask Glenn the word. If anyone can crack things this open, it's him. Do you know where he is? Somewhere upstairs, that's all I know. On this Glenn door? Oh, I think I know which one. He, he he's the 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 huge the huge dog, I think. <laughs> Surgery room is on the second floor, if I remember correctly. the guy and over I'm looking for Gregor the janitor oh Danny I like him and as it happens, he's here. I think he's feeling about some life or the other. What do you need him for? He doesn't like it when people distract him. Someone stuck in the elevator. The doors won't open. My goodness, this hospital really does have a love, a life on its own. Well then, let me take up any more of your time. Good luck, Finley. <laughs> Should I call for Gregor? Looking for Gregor? Check upstairs. So I need to go to my ward for that. What's up with that blessed light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs Gregor help. 
would even give me the time for day when everything's running smoothly. But one flicker right, but one flickering light or squeaky doors and it's triggered his help head. Mr. Grandower Mr. Grandower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can you see I'm busy here? But there is someone stuck in the elevator. Give me, give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there and switch the breaker on. When I give you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor and I. Okay. I remember the flicker. It's around the corner. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes? Alright. Wait a minute. Put this in here, put it around here. That should do it. Okay, now! Ah! Oh no, everything okay? I just take a quick look. <laughs> Mr. Glendor, are you alright? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I live. Take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment, all the same. A loony. You wanna make an omelette? You gotta break a few eggs. Side. Look. The legs are working again. I've still got it. Will you help me now? Help? Oh, your elevator team. Give me a moment. I just need a quick break. Damn, we'll take a look. Finally! I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. I should have now. Carl, it's you! I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sound familiar. Huh? What? I thought you know it was me! Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite college? I tried to burn it into my brain for the future years. Anyway... I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh yeah, right. Freedom! Ah, oh, that's sweet, sweet Sam. I thought I was going to die in here. Thank you, Finlay. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Trigger, you bungler. It's your fault I got stuck in here. And now it's my fault. You're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. Ah! One of these days. Are you alright? What? Alright. Oh, yeah, all good. I'm just short on time. I already had a lot of today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It stares only for me from now on. Should help me keep fit at least. You could clone me, or take a second job as nurse, or buy a new elevator. A good option, right? All right, enough chit chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back up to the work. You know Krakowski by now. His team's probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up to it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Later. But... What about the boxes? I guess he'll sort it out. I really should go back to the wards now.
Dr. is a nurse on my ward. He approached me on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Krakowski. He has been at St. Ursula for a long time and now he stopped very well. I am really happy to be able to work with him. He is well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. There, I met some new people from Porcupine. Mia and I heard a voice in the elevator after lunch today. It was Carl. I've been wondering where he is. He invited Gilbert for a bill tonight as a thank you. Maybe I'll stop by there after work. Continue then. We are on the third floor. Here I am. Did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? It took you quite a while. Who was it in the elevator? Carl. Haha, <laughs> typical. Have you seen Dr. Krakowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I let her know I'm clocking off, then I can find finally relax for the evening. You do that, I'm going to do some sports. You can join me if you want, it'll be fun. That's not a bad idea, I'll think about it. To work out after today, that's pretty good idea. I could use the discussion. She's on the school sport ground. School sport ground. Where's the school sport ground? Finley, I have a question. Do we have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot on your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job. Like everybody else here does. Don't take this personally. I don't even I don't enjoy pointing these things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was... I know. And I and also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we're all clear. And I need to make sure we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift. As I'm sure you know, that will give you another chance to prove yourself. Well, she doesn't mean her, she's just telling us that we don't need to do anything outside our job desk. That's actually a pretty good mindset. If I say, Did your day did your day go okay? Yes, I'm about to head out. Can I get you anything else? No, oh, no, I'm all good. I'll try to wait a little longer, but it'll be an early night for me tonight. All right then, see you tomorrow. See you in the next morning. Oh, I can do this. I didn't know about that. Let's see if I can go to three o one and three o three. I cannot, I can only visit the granny's house, the granny's room. Okay then.
<laughs> oh no, I cannot use the elevator. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Ha, 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 ha. Get back. I think I will uh, visit me eyes me eyes first. Even though I don't really know where that was. <clears throat> uh, oh. oh wait, I need to see that two guys on the back. Uh, hurry, 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 hurry. You're still there yet? Oh. Okay. That's new. They're gone now. They are gone. I wonder. So it's not the usual day. So, any plans after work? Yeah, I'm going out again. It's your first night shift tomorrow, right? Yes, finally. Thanks to sleep in a bit. You better head. You better head. Scary things happen here at night sometimes. Demons, monsters. Demons, monsters. That kind of things. The spirits of the deceased get up. All sorts of mischief here, you know. You're kidding, right? No, it's all true. Some people have gone insane on the first night shift, or even disappeared completely. I mean, look at you. You've only had one late shift, and you didn't even come out of that unharmed. But that was just a stupid accident. It could have happened any time of the day. Oh, sure, it could have. Or could it? And if you answer that one, I'm leaving now. Yes, flee, flee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again. That surprised me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now oh, where is that? Oh, there you are. How is it looking? Are you gonna come down to the sport court with <clears throat> I want to get some exercise tonight. Sure. Race to the school sport court. You insist? Great. On your mark. It's set. Oh no, is that Dr. Karkowski? She looks angry. What? Come! God dang it. <laughs> You trick me! You trick me, Mia! That's cheating! So this is cool. Wait, what? Oh, I see. It's the zigzag pad. It's like an abandoned place. Oh, look at that ruins over there. I don't 
don't know if you see that but it's on the right side <coughs> you It's uh, it's the school, right? Gray say this one old house. Can I go here? Oh, I can. Where is it? Where does this go? Where is this place? This isn't a factory. This is a factory. I'm sorry, Mia. I need to wait longer. I can get up here. And I can still go more. My God. Where is this place? It's like an old town. Oh. It's a supermarket. It's a supermarket. Okay. Is this the downtown? I think this is the downtown. Where is this place? Boy. Yes, I do leave me out behind and make them go one. Where is this place? <laughs> well, should I just go back and meet Mia and then visit them later? I feel bad for her somehow. Somehow. Wait, wait, what? What are they? What? 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 I don't think we should be here. What? Oh, I remember that sign. Yeah. So this is the downtown where we can actually uh, have a splitting path. Here, instead of the old town, where the Gilberts is. We're skipping the opportunity to visit Gilbert just to play some sports with Mia. Come on, let's go back again. It's a huge town, I didn't expect it. <clears throat> I'm sorry Mia to take to waste your time waiting for me. But I have to I like to explore. Go. Oh, he is so bright for an evening, evening event. Hello. What do you want? Me? Uh, nothing, I guess. You seem kind of down. Is everything okay? Yeah, of course it is. Leave me alone. Ah, kids these days. Anything else here? No. 
Nothing else in here. Oh boy. Wow, what's happening here? Hmm? What do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. University's clinic, where I used to work, had its own sport field. I discovered this hidden gym last week. I hear be present to you. <laughs> nice. So, you want me to join? That's the plan. Today, we are playing basketball. You know how to shoot hops, right? No. Oh, it's good at school. I got this a lot for being one of the youngest. But I always got the basket. Alright then, looks like I choose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? That's what I want to hear. Here we go. Another mini game. Okay. Go for hook. Keep yourself fit. Hold E. Charge your throat. What is E? Why are your controller pointer is for keyboard? So E is A, I think. Showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a on a good day. The last time I played basketball was at school. When I start a team in the porcupine, you have to join me. Haha. <laughs> okay. So Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work in general. Porcupine. <laughs> it's nice here. I mean, I kinda haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a while. It feels like it feel a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. <clears throat> and in Porcupine, I already know... I, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny. I feel the same was... I feel the same way as you actually. Really? That's a surprise? I haven't had much free time so far. And when I do, I never had the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone. I feel that, Mia. But I've made up my mind not to get bogged down on work. I want to make sure I always have saved some energy for trying out new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. 
I'm sure we both find friends here. And whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will, but that's enough for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have a Besides, some of us have the early shift tomorrow. It's yours. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes alright. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Well? Does it mean I skip to the house now? I do. Can I go back? No. Oh, I cannot visit. Gilbert's now. So is that type of game? Okay then. I see. I understand now. But I think I see Pina in the flower shop. Or? So I think I'll just set my relationship to Mia for now. Just for this run. Because I don't think I can do the split. Oh. Wait, the chair is gone. Yeah, the chair is gone. Ooh. Finley, Finley, Finley. Okay, okay, I'll sleep in tomorrow. Do I really? Can I really not get back to the town? I cannot. So that means the only option for me. Never mind. So I can go up there. Okay, let's just sleep for the day. My apartment is a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all, right? Meh. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise, it'll end up lying around all week. I hope my lazy future self appreciate this. Look at those eyes. Be free to help me out a little. After all, you live here too. That remind me, actually, you're behind in on rent too. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? Anyway, I think that's all for today. <coughs> Two hours is quite a long time for me. So, yeah. wrap it up here and hope I am um, I can actually continue on the right uh was it again on the right place all right yeah okay so yeah that is all for today thank you for watching and see you again next time Bye!